Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about memory, specifically memory in regards to workstations. So here we have uh, HP Z440 workstation. It has four channels and eight slots. So we're going to be doing a lot of builds on HP 440s, Lenovo S20s, Lenovo S30s. We have some Dell Precisions like a 5810 and a 3810. So looking at quite a few of them, but they all have similarities when it comes to memory. If you've ever purchased a workstation and you didn't get the performance you thought it should be giving you, the memory may be the problem. So we're going to discuss that a little bit now before we start doing all these builds in the days to come. And we're going to discuss how you can install the memory. It's going to be different for each system and depending on what system you get, it may be different from what we're talking about, but you can look this all up and you can also test it. And you can test it by using a program called CPU-Z. Now, the important thing is that this workstation with the quad channel memory, you need to install at least one DIMM, one memory module in each of the channels to get maximum performance. And therein lies the problem. Many of these systems are sold with one or two memory modules. Now with one, you could be losing up to 50% performance, especially in memory intensive applications like video rendering, you know, things like that. But anything that you, you need a lot of memory for, you're, you could be losing a lot of performance. If you fill two of the channels, so if you put in two modules, one in each of the first two channels, you're going to get up to dual channel. With dual channel, better, yes, but you still could be losing 25 to 35 percent of the performance. So you don't want that. You also don't want to put in three. Now, if you've got four channels and three memory modules, you've got an unbalanced system. It's not going to perform optimally. So what you want is you want at least one memory module in each of the channels. So we're going to take a quick look at that and then we're going to talk about it a little bit more because we want to make sure that you're understanding how to get the most out of a budget build. If you're purchasing or building one of these budget builds that we're going to be showing you, what, what's the point if it's giving you bad performance? It's, it's wasting, wasting your money and wasting your time. You're going to be frustrated. So what we want to do is make sure that's not what's happened. You're getting a good budget, but you're getting a lot of bang for your budget. So let's take a look down in here, see what we got. Now this HP in particular, it has the memory core, which is good. If you're going to have four or more modules in there, it is recommended that you have one of these memory coolers. So here I want you to see in this system that we got from a local company. This might be a little bit shaky, but bear with me you're going to see one memory module there. So you only got one memory module in this system. You have eight slots, as you can see here, but one memory module. Very unbalanced system. That's not what you want. So what we're going to do is discuss that, and you're going to need to look it up on the manufacturer's website to find out which slots these go in. But typically, if you put it in number one, so this in this particular system, this is one. And then the other dark slots, that should be good. I've seen where it says 
that you're supposed to put it in different slots, but none of that really matters. What matters is that you do it and then you test it. You CPUZ, start that program up, and then you go into that and then click on the memory tab and it'll tell you if you're in single, dual, or quad channel. Problem solved, maximum performance achieved. So one of the other things you want to bear in mind is make sure all of the modules are the same. So all four terabyte, I mean four gigabyte, all same, um, all same speed. So this is a 2133 module. So you would want to copy that. Best if they're all the exact same manufacturer and everything but you should be okay if they're all the same size and frequency. So if you really want to get the most out of the system, you could put in eight DIMMs. Now that's going to be a lot more expensive. And if you can only do two, just make sure you got them in the right. You'll get dual channel. You won't have optimum performance, but it's way better than putting them in one channel because that's, still going to be single. So again, in this particular system, you're going to want to make sure you fill all the dark ones and then you're going to want to go into CPU-Z and test that just to make sure that you're getting optimal, optimal performance. Now it's going to be different for different systems. So let's talk about that. I got a little list here and in the Lenovo S20, you have six slots and it has triple channel. So you're going to want to fill three slots, but you need to fit, do the correct three. So make sure you're getting it in the correct three slots so that you got triple channel. The Dell Precision 3810, which we're going to be doing, this one, you just want to fill all the slots. That's going to be your best chance, and it's going to give you dual channel memory and the maximum speed. So just do four. On the Dell Precision 5810 that we're going to be doing and the HP 440, the HP Z 440, same, same thing. They're both quad channel but you want to get at least one module in each of the four channels. So we'll, in this kind of situation, you want to decide how much memory that you're going to want and then choose the appropriate sized modules. So say you want 32 gigabytes of RAM, you can start with four, four gigabyte modules, put one in each of the channels and now You've got quad channel later if you want to up it to 32 from there then you can go and put it in the other four channels now you got 32. so it's just up to you how much you um you want to have memory but you don't want to buy and then be stuck with undersized modules and then go back and put in different sizes to try to get more memory because that's going to mess up. You're going to have an unbalanced system. It's not that it won't work. It will work, but you're not going to have optimum performance. So you want to make sure again, that all of the modules in the PC or in the workstation are all the same size. Do not mix sizes or frequencies, all the same size, anything else you're going to lose performance. So again, plan for the future, how much total memory you want and purchase accordingly. For myself, what I did when I did my build was I put in eight, eight gigabyte modules, which gave me a total of 64. It's running in quad channel maximum performance. So that's what you want. Again, you can get maximum performance with half the number, but they have to be in the correct 
one in each channel, correct order. All right, that's about all I got for you today, but I thought this is very important. If you're going to buy a workstation and build it, make sure that it either already has four DIMMs the same size, four modules, same size, or plan to purchase four DIMMs of the same size. Or find, wait till you get your system. It'll still run, even with one DIMM, it will run. But when you get your system, go on eBay or wherever, Amazon, whatever um, place you like to search for this kind of thing, and match that DIMM and get three more or two more or depending on what you have in the system. But you're really going to want to do that. I actually got one of these in. Several of them have one module, so that's single channel. Um, one of them has three modules, and that's going to be an unbalanced system. So it's okay because the three, four gigabyte modules, all I have to do is drop in one more four gigabyte of the same um, frequency, and I have a nice quad channel. Now, <clears throat> I have a lot of memory modules laying around, and we've recently purchased more for these builds, so that's going to be easy for me. It might not be for you because if you're just buying one PC or one workstation, yeah, you're not. You probably don't have a lot of memory modules of the correct size laying around. Uh, one more thing: make sure that you're using server memory. There are a few systems that can accept server memory, ECC registered memory, or desktop memory. But these workstations typically can only use the ECC registered memory. So make sure you're getting the right memory. It'll avoid you having to try to sell it to get your money back and all that. Well, I hope this helps you. And if it did, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. We've got a lot of videos coming where we're going to rebuild systems just like this one. And I'm going to drop them down on my website and you can go there and purchase the exact system that you see me build. That's a new thing we're going to be doing. So you can go visit my store. Got my own store set up online. Go there, buy them. Some of them we may offer configuration options so it'll be the base system that you saw me build but it might just have four memory modules most of them probably will just have four and we'll add a few more add a little bit of time to delivery but if you want to update the graphics card that may in some cases be available and the memory may in some cases be available but we're going to make sure that every system we send out, that I send out, is going to be set up correctly. We're going to test it. We're going to make sure it's in quad channel or triple channel or dual channel, depending on the system. We're going to make sure it's getting optimal performance so you get optimal performance from the PCs you purchase from me. All right. Thanks again. Hope this helped you.